Hi besties, let's get ready together. So, you guys have been asking me for like an updated makeup routine, so I thought I would provide you with that. I've literally done my skincare and that is all just slipped my hair back. And today I'm going shopping. So this is just SPF on my face. So, what shall we prime with? I also asked you some questions, so I'm going to answer them too. I think I might prime it with the Too Faced Hangover and the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops. I really like them. They just add such a glow to the face. So, because I slipped my back, hair back, I don't want to um, put any my hands on my face. I'm going to do it with a brush. So I'm just going to drop a bit of the drops. They're kind of better if you like mix them on your hand but like I said look I don't fancy um getting any spaddies so let's blend that in I'm just gonna use this random um mange brush I've, I've never really heard of that actually so I just mix it together and it just adds like a really nice glow it's better when you rub it in um with your hands i feel like it adds more cover and um, not more coverage like but it like, doesn't sink into the brush um but it just adds a bit of a color you know and um, i've got fat tan on my face but it seems to have come off on my forehead so please ignore that um this is how my skin's looking if you follow me for a while you know i'm an acne sufferer but i honestly have feel like i'm coming out in a positive light and it makes me so happy so so happy like i've been wearing no makeup like i'm feeling more confident and i just don't think you can put a price on good skin and feeling confident um which i feel blessed to say like i never thought i would stop suffering with it and don't get me wrong i've still got marks on my face like my skin isn't clear did you hear my stomach then it went, um but can you see it just adds like a real glow and some in some in i had at the weekend i tried on tiktok the cc cream from 17 and the highlighter and it was actually really nice but i'm not going to use it today um just because i feel like it needed needed a lot of work and i said i was going to try it again with my brush and with my beauty blender so i'm going to put a little bit of hmb let me just get my base started and then we'll talk questions so HMB Cosmetics in SF1W. Um, but I wanted to ask how you guys were. Are you okay? How are you feeling? What's going on in your life? Tell me some stuff you're grateful for. Tell me what's going right in your life. Tell me what's going wrong. Tell me everything. I hope you're okay. I hope you're having a blessed week whenever you see this. I hope you're feeling loved, appreciated. All the things what you deserve um where's i've not you know when you do something you just lose your track of thought i've been using the so i just put on the elf halo it is a little bit dark for me it's in the shade five medium tan so i just do a stripe of it and then i go in with the maybelline light medium 1.5 um, around my skin I don't need to conceal anywhere as such so I'm just going to go along with this and this says it's primer concealer highlighter BB cream yeah that's that four in one glow it's called um, and it's really good so I just dot it around all my gaps it's a bit of a strange way to do it but it works for me this is it let's get the questions up I just want this to be a chill, get ready with me, just like I'm getting ready, like I'm literally getting ready for the day, I'm going shopping with Jode. So, okay, ask me anything. What hair products are you using lately? Um, Hair products I'm using lately, to slip back my hair, I literally, while it's here, I used this Kuhn Cosmetics X Joseph Kalinsky Ultra Gel the strong mousse i got sent this in pr over a year ago and i just use it and then here's the hairspray but i also am enjoying using the sebastian professional dark oil i also love the i mean these are like a mix between styling and treatment and i also am enjoying the way matte pomade um what else am i enjoying i'm enjoying else 
I'm enjoying hair care I've come at a little stump with because I am someone who like likes to spend on hair care however I, but I'm also trying to be good and not by excessive amounts so I've just run out of my L'Oreal Vitamin O hair care and my hairdresser told me um, do you know what I didn't put my light on actually will that be better for you guys sorry if it's a bit dark is that any better if it's not I'm really sorry I don't know if that's any good um and she says a lot of products like that aren't actually good for your skin I'm just putting a little spray of hangover um three and one onto my brush and then I'm just gonna stipple the face like so um she says that um hair care like I said to me, to her the Olaplex doesn't suit me I feel like it makes my hair feel dry and she said it's not making your hair dry it's healthy like it's strong and um, the reason your hair feels so soft with other products is because they're putting a fake like silicone thing over your hair and I was like oh one second man answering me hello I'm one second I'll ring you back in a minute okay we keep missing each other don't we yeah, yeah, don't worry, I've been all morning, alright. Alright, ring you in a bit, love you. Love you, bye. Bye, bye. Um, what was I going to say? Um, so, yeah, so she was saying they just put a film over your hair, and I was like, oh. Um, so, she said don't use those. She says she really recommends Olaplex, and she recommends Moroccan oil. She said, like, a lot of them um, aren't very good, like the high street ones, blah, 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 which I feel like is common knowledge in a way. So, I do like the Moroccan oil one, I've used that before. Um, but the only other one that I tried because I thought I don't want to go crazy because I love a hair mask I don't I only wash my hair once a week so I feel like that is if you can train your hair for as long as you can to not wash that's the biggest change you'll see in your hair Um, so wear a hair mask all night wash in the morning beautiful soft hair and then I like to use heat protect I like to use the color wow dream coat Um, I like to use a nice hydrating hair oil so yeah, so that's the current hair care I would say. So I bought the Garnier, what you know, like the um, one that's like banana, aloe vera, blah, blah, blah. So I bought that because that said no silicones in. So I thought I'm going to try that as a cheaper hair care this time. And then I'm going to invest um, in some hair care. But I just I think I'm going to get the Moroccan and the Moroccan mask. But I also love the, um, she said Waze, okay, as well, Waze hair care. So I think I'm going to treat myself to the Waze hair mask and then the Moroccan oil um, shampoo and conditioner. Sorry, I get a bit confused. So that's my current advice. And also, this is the um, foundation. No, well, it's not really foundation. It's just like a BB cream slash concealer. That's the only thing I like to wear so then i'm running out i've ordered some new makeup off tiktok shop actually um but i'm going to use the made by mitchell cream carve um i'm running out on my cheekbones it's like a really nice warm i don't really like an ashy contour for my list i much prefer i've got hair stuck on my face i thought i did oh that's so much better it's really tickling me um i much prefer like a warmer glow um i just put a little bit on my jaw um and then i really do enjoy too the chanel universal oh this is actually the different one that i like i usually like the solar tan but this is the cream bell healthy glow bronzing quick cream um so i'm gonna put that on so next any reason you and jody don't gym together um she has always had a membership at one of the gyms and me and Dan go together so like obviously we spend a lot of time together so like going not going to the gym together is not a big deal for us like we see each other almost every day we work together so that is not a big deal for us Um, there's no reason at all we train together in lockdown in my dad's home gym and that is literally it Um, so no reason at all uh, where's your phone case from love this is from eBay it took a little while to come but they get them from Shein they're so much cheaper and um they're so much cheaper and, 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 and they come quicker because I thought eBay that'll come quicker no she income so much quicker when Jodie ordered hers 
Please and Lois on the, the glowy skin. Okay, so I am in love with this. If you watch my weekly vlogs, you'll know I die hard at this. I've spent my own money on it. It's never gifted. Like, it's a small business and I love it. It's really helped my acne. So I, the only skincare product I use on my face is this and SPF. At the moment, I've been using this. CeraVe V um SPF 50 AM but I also absolutely loved this Vici one so they're the only products I use on my skin um I don't know if she means like skincare um but they're my and honestly I genuinely think taking care of yourself from the inside your mental health your like happiness radiates on the outside like and I genuinely mean that like Taking away things that give you bad, nasty vibes give you the biggest glow. Like, you glow differently when you're happier. And, like, I stand by that so much. Like, as soon as I left the office and cut a few things out of my life, my skin cleared up. And I have had hormonal acne for a few years. So, if that doesn't show and speak volumes, I don't know what does. Um, how are you? I'm okay. I've been feeling so drained recently and there's a lot going on behind the scenes but i'm okay i'm journaling i'm reading i'm just trying to put so much time into developing myself making sure i'm happy blah 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 um we speak about a lot of things like this on the podcast um if you didn't know i've got a podcast with my best friend sisters and souls and we spoke about manifesting goals like things like that and i feel like you will find that interesting if you don't already watch it just personally because there's so much we speak about so much like to do with journaling and um, our inner feelings and like things like that. So um, yeah, go and check that out because we speak a lot in depth. I am going to put some blush on. I'm going to put the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm on. Um, how did you train your hair? So try even if you're like someone who washes it like every day or like every other day, go try and go one more day. And if you can, embrace the slip back. This is nine day hair. I'm going to wash it tonight. I last washed it last Friday. Excuse me, my tummy's rumbling. Um, and that is the biggest advice I can give you. Like, d don't just try and leave it a week, a day longer, and then like put a hat on, put a headband on, like there's so many ways to like hide your greasy hair dry shampoo and um, put some oil in the end so it doesn't feel frizzy and then you know and then it just makes such a difference um completely random why do you take your socks off when lifting weights i think she means shoes does it help i just personally feel like i've not found the perfect gym trainer for doing legs and things so i find that like having flat feet really helps me keep my balance like i know that i'm flat to the ground when i'm doing weights and that i'm not on like a funny position otherwise i feel like it hurts my calves so there's no particular reason um but i've got some recommendations so like converse vans things like that are really good for weightlifting. um i'm not quite sure of the bigger brands like nike adidas new balance um but i know they're really good for um weightlifting um please tell us what the l'oreal foundation you use is it looks unreal i haven't used it for a little while actually but it's in my drawer here it's called the l'oreal true match tinted plumping serum it's a bit used but this is really good i really enjoy this um i just haven't been using foundation as such recently um that's the only reason i haven't really used it um any advice having a bad body image self body love see if there's any of us to do with that um i'm struggling with this at the moment actually and i think the biggest problem uh, i think the biggest issue what it comes down to is your the way you view yourself and like you can't copy and paste yourself into somebody else like you might not ever look like Courtney Black, you might not ever look like Megan Grubb, you might not ever have the same size as your best friend because you've got different body types. Like when I was younger, I didn't eat very well, I was in a bit of a bad place and I didn't eat and I was a size six and I was pr pretty much starved myself all day and that is so unhealthy and I went for a few things to do with contraception, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm just putting on the Primark Get The Glow liquid highlighter. Um, I'm going to squirt that on my cheeks. 
Um, and I genuinely think that it was like, yes, I was skinny and I look back and I think, gosh, I was tiny, but I wasn't healthy and I wasn't happy. And now I'm a lot more curvy. I feel like I've come into my own body type and I'm happier. I just need to learn to love that body type. I think admitting what you have, like I will never be a size six again. Like I know that, but, and I need to accept that and know that when I'm turning up at the gym, I'm not, you know, my weight isn't flying off the scales to be a size six unless I eat 1,100 calories a day for a long time and I'm constantly hungry and I just don't think that's a good way to live um this is just my opinion like please don't take this as gospel like I'm not a personal trainer I'm not anything this is just my opinion um you know I don't want people to you know I've got no um nutritional degree or anything like that I feel like weight and calories are a very funny subject and I wouldn't want to upset anybody I'm just finding my product one second I wanted to show you the 17 the way it glows on your face is literally beautiful so I am going for this journey I was having a chat with Dan last night and he was like you just need to as long as you are doing like 80 20 you are pushing yourself you're eating mostly healthy you just need to love your body and, you know, and accept what it is. Like, if you don't want to spend your life hungry, like, it depends what your goals are at the end of the day. Like, if your goals are to be really skinny, which is absolutely fine, and, you know, and be, you're going to be in a deficit most of the time, and you're going to be losing weight, but I need to figure out what I want my body to be like, and I'm not 100% sure, um... And this is just me being completely honest that this is a battle I'm going through at the moment. Um, look at that glow, it's incredible. So uh, figure out what you want, love your body for what it is. It keeps you healthy, it lets you, you go to the gym, it lets you do the washing, it lets you walk the dogs, it lets you work, breathe. Like it does so many things for you that we shouldn't just be ashamed of it and think, well I'm not a size four so I'm not, you know, I'm not as skinny as... That's like me saying, like, I'm not as skinny as Jodie, so I'm never going to take my top off near her. Like, that isn't not Like, it's not, not normally. It's just not fair on yourself. Like, you've got, like, different body types. Like, me and Jodie are a good example. We've got different body types. She hasn't, she hasn't got a curvy body type. I do. Yes, I could lose weight. Anybody could lose weight. But I will never look the same. I will never be copy and paste of Jodie. That's just for an example. Because um, she won't mind me using her as an example. And I just think, like, being curvy at is hard because, you know, being online as well, you get a lot of hate, which is absolutely fine. And, like, sometimes when you are having a bad image day and, like, being called fat, blah, 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 like, and being compared to your best friend isn't nice. But it's your body and it's doing so much for you. You should just appreciate it. Um... So as long as I know I am eating mostly healthy, I'm winning most of the time with going to the gym and I'm walking every day, I'm treating my body with respect and care, I feel like that's all you can do. So I feel like it's a journey of accepting and loving your body. Sorry that was so long-winded, it's just something I do feel quite passionate and struggle with myself. If someone who says like weight loss, health journey update, like I really do want to take the pressure off the scales because lifting weights you put on muscle you don't lose it's hard to lose weight um i think the better thing to do if you're gonna do that is measure yourself like measure your waist measure your hips and at like, the places you want to lose should go down and then like your legs might get a little bit thicker because they might get stronger like with muscle however like if your goal is to lose fat on your stomach you probably see a few inches off if that makes sense um again i'm trying not i'm trying to take the pressure off and just embrace my body as it is and be proud of it like no matter what it looks like as long as i'm not being unhealthy you know um hope that come across in the wrong way uh, right way um revolution powder this is new um i really want to try the huda beauty or the jordana one and um, this is like a two-in-one loose and um pressed powder which is kind of crazy um so i'm just gonna pour it into the lid a sec and then this is it with no powder it's really glowy honestly i just i'm really happy with my skin and because i haven't got so many spots i'm just feeling a lot more confident which is really nice um 
what what has helped your skin honestly what i said strip it back stop using acne product products that work for me like i found using things like paula's choice acne side blah 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 actually made my skin worse than and um, made it better all the acids and stuff were just too strong for it so the only thing i use on my spots this is only on active spots is this and i just put a tiny bit on dab it on and then i let it sink in and then i put my zoe b moisturizer on because that actually is meant to help acne um i'm just putting on this is my trigwell cosmetics puff and i just like to i feel like my makeup comes off around my mouth easily so i like to kind of bake there um and then i'm just gonna put this back into the pot i make such a mess with powder and then with the um what's it called the pressed powder i'm gonna go in where's my brush someone said any advice on gaining subscribers and views i'm on my fourth upload and i'm struggling it's so hard to not give up but i want this so bad four uploads is not a lot and i'm not being harsh with you because i'm not being kind like i have done youtube i mean give or take i haven't been the most consistent oh, that moment bike i'm just gonna dust this off one sec i haven't been the most consistent for the whole years but i started youtube in 2018 and i um still you know like i've only just became social media's only just became my full-time job a few months ago and it doesn't happen overnight yes some people it does happen overnight and they are so lucky and it becomes their job instantly however for like a lot of people it doesn't and you have to work for it so if you're not willing to put a lot of effort in you're not going to get anywhere like if you like i'm not being unkind but four uploads is nothing that's like me uploading for a week on one day like you need to be consistently uploading you need to be putting all your time into it like you need to be making it a priority essentially and if you're not you won't see progress um find something you love find a niche so do you like fashion hauls do you like vlogs do you like clean with me do you like exercise videos i don't know whatever your niche is find it and be consistent with it try and upload at least once a week consistently and then you will start to see the results um also one second i love dousing my face like in this is matte fix plus and it just makes your skin just go into one um, like takes all the powdery feel away um so just be consistent like i cannot tell you anything else apart from be consistent like i don't even have 10,000 subscribers i am hardly a youtube sensation you know but i doesn't stop me like i know people enjoy my videos and this is my passion so i'm going to continue to do it and um, also like if you can do tiktoks if you can do instagram like they all help each other so if you can you know take workouts if it's workouts you do big fitness videos like what are you in a day and blah 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 can you also do them on tiktok you know um tiktok is my main source of income that's you know um and then youtube and then instagram um so i would say you just really need to push like push like you've never pushed for like you're never gonna um grow if you're still sat comfortable posting like one video or two videos like you've got to really put your time and effort into it um so yeah please don't take it the wrong way i just think if it's your passion if you want it really that bad be consistent and go and get it don't stop until it's yours like you can't fail if you don't stop trying is my opinion um can you film a holiday haul i mean no only because i'm not going on holiday so like that would be silly for me um but i could try and help you find some cool holiday clothes and um, if you like go on pinterest and if you go on i don't know if you even type in on tiktok like i holiday outfits i be fab blah 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 you know um 
there's so many people I'm more than happy to help you like if you want to message me and I could help you find um some stuff on like PFT and stuff but I'm not gonna buy holiday bitch just because I don't have a reason to if you know what I mean um I hope you understand that um but I will be more than happy to help you and make a little wish list for you from like Zara, POT, Boohoo, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up a second. Um, I do have them laminated, so they are pretty obedient. I'm just going to spray... Where's my little pot? I've been using the... Is it Pink Honey Honey Glue? Um, it smells so good. Sorry, that's my manager. And then what you do is you spray a little bit of spray in there. Like, get it wet. And then I just spray this. And then you just dip it in the pot and swirl it around um someone said favorite gym brand um my favorite gym brand i don't know i love gymshark i find that gymshark washes very well good quality but i haven't tried that many i do like I, sheen is a very controversial brand so if you don't like it that's fine don't buy it however i've bought some gym leggings from sheen like the acid wash ones with the bum scrunch and they're really good quality and i really do like them however other than that i haven't tried that many brands if i'm being completely honest with you so i don't want to give you um like a fake review i really want to try oh i don't know there's so many on there i don't know where to go um i did try some from pink soda sport and they were quite good um, but personally, like, I will probably just, like, if I'm going to buy some, I will get some from Shein or Gymshark, just because that's what I know. But I know Jodie has a lot more brands. Bowen Tea's quite nice, actually, gym wear. Um, and I can imagine Megan Grubbs' brand, Move With Bluey, is really good. Um, so, ask Jode. Maybe she might have a better recommendation for you, just because I don't know, and I don't want to give you guys a review for no reason. Um, I'm going to just say, yeah blah blah is really good and i can imagine also where i would like to buy from i just it's a bit expensive is tala i can imagine they have good quality bits too sorry i'm just trying to find my um other little spoolie so i've just combed off the i can't find it oh yeah there it is the brows and i just brush them up make sure there's no like bit things i hate that when you can see like the pomade I don't know, it's not like pomade, it's like glue. And like I said, like, having them laminated, it makes a big difference to my eyebrows. Um, so that is what they look like. Okay, we're going to go zoom in a little bit. I am now going to add a little bit of... I don't add bronzer every day. Do I want bronzer? I don't know if I do actually. I think I might just add blush. Um, I'm gonna. This is the Wet and Wild bronzer in what sand? What shady beaches? <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab a little bit and put it on my eyelid. Oh, it's ten ten. I always do a manifestation on ten ten, so I'll do it for all of us. We are healthy. We are happy we all of our dreams come true we are so lucky we attract money from so many sources we are so much pressure we are healed um all of our dreams come true we have our dream jobs we are abundant in wealth health happiness we have positive people around us we remove all negative energy we have no blocks getting our dreams okay so i love to do that on a double number me and joe do it so do me and dan and you can simply just say everything works out for us but we like to do a few um but there's like a powerful meaning behind the double numbers when you do it um so yes sorry i'm just it just adds like a little bit of depth to the eye and then I am going to grab a little brush and I'm going to sprinkle some, I think I'm going to go with the Wee Cherry. I love it so much. You can see it's literally used to death. It's just by the Beauty Crop and it's Wee Cherry Duo Press Mineral Blush. But I also love the Milani Luminoso one. So I'll just do a little sprinkle. Um, what journal do you have? 
I want to start any recommendations. So I have the P. Louise one, but it's huge, like absolutely huge. And I personally, um, again, go and watch our episode on manifestation um, on the podcast because we go, it's like an hour long podcast about how we manifest and get our goals basically. But I personally don't use a, a journal as such. I like to do my own prompt, so I'll say, how I'm feeling, what my goals are, I'll write them in the present tense, what I'm grateful for, all that kind of stuff. Um, whereas like if you're a new, more of a new um, newbie, then I understand that can be a little bit daunting. So you could, there's the manifestation journal, if you just type that in, it's like pink, it's the law of attraction one. And um, they have like, there's the five minute one, Jody has the her empire one, I've got P. Louise one, and the P. Louise one is like a book, on my Sunday reset, I showed you the book, so maybe go back and have a look at that, and then I know Jody showed hers in her vlog, so that could give you a little bit of helping hand, um, but honestly, there's so many, like, it depends what you want, what your, um, method's gonna be, like, there's just like journaling, scripting, 369, 555, like there's so many different methods that you can use. So it's completely up to you. Um, I'm then just going to go over with the Hangover 3-in-1. I find the key to my makeup looking glowy and healthy is a spray. So I'm just going to douse it in that and then let it settle. Um, how did you start up your business? What are your plans for the future with you glow? I'm having a little bit of a nightmare with you glow at the moment. And the reason being, where I got my pigments from, it was a UK brand. It was a lovely girl who owned um, her own lip gloss and wholesale company. She was based in London and I've been buying from her from the start. However... I don't know what's happening in her business, but she's like took the whole wholesale off her business. Like, it's been out of stock for months and months and months and months. I've been messaging her. I'm like, hi, please, could you send me an update? Like, I run my small business off you. So she's just kind of gone MIA and now she's took the wholesale off her website completely and now she's not replying or anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take that as a sign that you're not going to be doing this anymore. I need to find some more. So I'm going to have a go at making my own liquid pigments. So my current situation is that there is no colours. I cannot put a colour in my stuff because I've got some left, but it's going to have to change because I can't get any more or obviously I haven't bulked by it. So I am trying to make my own liquid pigments like what I would buy off her um, to try and perfect my colours and make them my own so I can keep going with my business, if that makes sense. So I'm not um, stopping... Um, that there's some makeup bags still for sale and a couple of tote bags and I also so many of you guys have asked about the Uglow mirror I don't know if it's in here I don't know where she is and yes I will be selling these however this isn't the right colour this is really yellowy and I want one that's going to be more cream like my tubes like my tubes are here so there's 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 the Uglow tube. You're not going to be able to tell, but like in person, one's really yellow and one's really cream, and I want them to match. So when I've got the perfect colour, which I think I have, I'll be selling them and everything will all be back, but I want to come back with a bang. I don't want to keep having things here and there, you know? So, and I set it up. So I was really unhappy and I was like, what shall I do? Like, I just don't want to be unhappy. And I've always had a goal of starting a fake tan brand. So basically what I did was I was like, um, how to start your own fake tan business. I'm just going to cut my eyelashes. How to start a self tan business, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hmm. And then this girl came up. She was called, she owns a, um, a brand called Karash Cosmetics. She's from Dallas in Texas in um, America. And she's called Karash Cosmetics. She does like wholesale and stuff. And I obviously typed in fake tan business, but she just kept popping up like how to start a lip gloss brand. How to, it was like all these signs of lip gloss were just coming towards me. And I was like, Hmm. So then I was like, right, so I researched the absolute hell into this. Like, I was like, how to start a lip gloss brand, how to make lip gloss. Like, and then I just like quietly had a go 
making lip gloss like I bought some of her pigments I bought some pre-made ones from Alibaba like I just had a real um like research and like was like can I do this like am I going to enjoy this and then I went to Jodie and I was like Jode I think I'm going to make a lip gloss brand um and she was like okay and so we had a business meeting. Jodes very practical. She went to uni and did like fashion. She's gonna kill me if I don't get this wrong. Fashion business, marketing and promotion, maybe. If that's right, Jode. Um, and she's very good at behind the scenes. Like she's so good at graphic design and um, like the Canva and like the behind the scenes of like just the stuff, like the stuff you would see to promote and things like that she's really good at that thing like I can imagine they were quite heavy on that um with her course so what I did was I was like Jode please would you help me and she was like of course bestie so I was like right so we had a business meeting in Costa um and collection lash surge before I forget to tell you and um we were like right what should we do we came up with a name it was between like glow baby you glow um glow girl and it was funny because when I was telling my mum about it she was like um I hadn't told her the name and I was she was like I've got an idea for a name and I was like what and she was like you glow or glow baby and I was like what the hell I was like I've literally just decided I want it to be you glow I gave her no indication which was crazy so we settled on you glow I had old tubes to start with like and I just made the gloss, perfected my colours, set the names, made it legal. So I had to do, um, you have to do a few things. Um, you have to like make it on the government portal and you have to do a CSPR, which is a Cosmetic Safety Product Report. Um, and it's basically, you give them the formulations for your products. And I don't know which cons um, mascara is the dead one. Um, and they test it to make sure it's okay obviously safe for people um so yeah made it legal and then we started selling and i've just been navigating ever since like trying to perfect everything blah 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 and the future for you glow the future is it will be in selfridges and it will have a fake tan and it will have maybe other products um and it will be a big brand like I have every faith that I will succeed with it I love it so much and I would love to me and Joe would have a plan of because she wants a clothing brand so I think when we get to the point we will have higher at like a unit and we'll have an office with her brand my brand and a podcast like for our podcast and I would like to hire staff in the future um to maybe like to help me with like a bit of an all-round help, help me with social media and help me with um you glow like help me pack orders things like that because when it's busy it's very hard to manage but like at the moment obviously there's the odd few sale but there isn't much in stock because and i haven't been promoting it just purely because of what's going on behind the scenes so yeah that's just a bit of honesty if you're thinking about setting a business up don't rely on other people to like at the end of the day this is your business like find something you're passionate about find something that you want to do and you're going to stick with and then go from there like I researched it to the absolute hell that's all I watched like lip gloss videos lip gloss lip gloss lip gloss lip gloss lip gloss you know um and yeah and it's still such a baby it's not even been alive two years um I'm just going to put on Too Faced Better Than Sex over the top. So, yeah, just find your passion, research it, make sure if it's a skincare or something, make sure it's legal, um, make sure you've got a vision behind the brand. Like, I made a vision board for Jode and was basically like, this is what I'm thinking, what do you think? Because I wanted her opinion because obviously, <laughs> because obviously she's she'd be the sort of consumer I would want to buy. Um, you know, a, a, it's not ages, but like, um, I, my, a lot of my followers are young girls. Um, she loves lip gloss. I would like, what would make you buy this lip gloss? So I was just really lucky that I had her to help me. I sent them to my mum. I sent them to family members. And I also think having a business makes you realise how who actually gives a fuck about you and who helps you. Like, some family members will not will be the most unsupportive of your business and they won't give a fuck, they'll expect freebies, blah, 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 and 
people people will really show like your best friend and like your like family should buy you know like even dan placed an order um like they should be supporting your business um and a lot of people it's very interesting you'll find won't from um, help you at all so having a business actually really opened your eyes and it, it was just very very interesting um so yeah find your passion research it make sure it's legal get your name blah 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 go for it smash it get your samples work out your perfect colors get your names of things get your drop get your vision and go and smash the shit out of it make an instagram make a tiktok Um, i want to go into like sending it out to influencers i just haven't got round to that yet um but yeah so that's my business advice um best place for loungewear i want joggers that don't bubble hmm i don't know i would say i can imagine this is by the way nick's suede matte lip liner in free spirit i can imagine brands like adenola wouldn't bubble or like more of an expensive loungewear like i love plt joggers and boohoo but they do bubble after a little while i don't know many that don't um i've only got adenola hoodies sorry hang on So I'm not 100% sure, I, but hoodies wise, Sisters and Seekers is really good. The only thing is Sisters and Seekers, I thought, I don't think their bottoms fit the best if you're a larger girl. Like, I don't feel like they cater much more upwards than a 12-14. They just make the waist bigger, but not the legs. Nobody wants tight thighs on a jogger, sorry. Um, so it's finding a brand that's inclusive, I would say, is quite hard. I'm going to put on some MAC honey love this is jodes and i stole it and i love it um someone said how to start youtube um kind of what i said earlier find your niece what your niece find your niche plan a bit of content and go and smash the shit out of it is my honest advice. I'm going to put on... These are all my favourite. I love moves and I love... This is like a untellable shade because I made it myself and I was like messing around. So I'm going to put a bit of moves on. I could just eat this gloss, it's marshmallow. Honestly, when I tell you these are the most unsticky glosses in the world and then for a bit of not that it's not glossy enough but these two together are stunning how nice and then i'm going to curl my eyelashes i've got a little bit of a crumb there we go oh i've got a bit of blush that i didn't blend in here yeah. it's not very good is it there we go um but yeah, this my makeup has took a bit longer because I've been chatting. It usually takes me like 20 minutes. Um, but it's harder when you're chatting. And then I just curl my eyelashes. I love a slip slip back look. There's nothing better, is there? I think eyelash colours make the biggest difference to your eyelashes, honestly. I don't like a heavy makeup look, I just like a light glowy vibe um so i will link all the products down below for you um but these are my absolute favorites at the moment it's what i find gives me like a really nice glowy healthy base doesn't look cakey i hate feeling like i've got a lot of makeup on like when i was younger i don't know how i used to go around with like concealer foundation like you just used to put so much on so this is a close-up 
so I hope you enjoyed this little catch up. Someone said how are you and I'm fine, I hope you guys are okay, I love you so much, thank you so much for your support as always, I love catching up with you, it's my absolute favourite, favourite, favourite thing and yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, have the blessed, best blessed week ever.